Because like I said, I should have brought a volume camera. But I think that I would rather just keep doing it with my phone because I'm more comfortable with my phone. I'm going to leave a Canon at home. And I'm still trying to learn it. Sorry about the blurs. We're going to figure it out. So we'll see you in the car. Taking the kids to the dentist. Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Putting on my 
lepas. I wish places like the Mexican restaurants and TJ Fridays and Applebee's and who else we have? Red Lobster restaurants in general. I wish they opened sooner than 11 o'clock. Some people don't like breakfast. Sometimes I want to go to Red Lobster and I'm like, oh, they don't open until freaking 11 o'clock. Boom. I apologize. So this is a vlog. I'm vlogging today. I, 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 this is supposed to be a vlog channel. I'm supposed to be vlogging a lot more. I don't really vlog on here like I want to. I am new, so we're going to start vlogging, people. Going to start vlogging. Going to start turning this camera on and talking more often. Just got to get used to talking to the camera. I don't know if you've seen a pretty old video. And I was like, if you're going to use something wrong with them, they can talk to the camera. I was being really sarcastic and dry. Because I just don't know how people are just comfortable. So comfortable. Unless you're a teacher. You know, teaching. If you're teaching something... I can understand how they can talk into a camera. And if you're talking to someone like I'm talking to you and you know, you can't respond back. That is kind of weird <laughs> to me. So I'm just trying to get used to it. Trying to get used to it. Trying to get used to talking into this camera. Vlogging. Position this. I need to make, make I'm still trying to zip up his boots. Position this camera. Oh, the sun is in my eyes. Woo! Gotta do that. See, now I'm dark. Whatever. And you can't see the babies. So, this is all a learning experience for me trying to get better at vlogging editing and uploading. Mommy, I'm back. What happened? Oh, airplane. Ooh, Nani sees an airplane. We live about 20 minutes from the airport. It's up, it's up in the sky. You can't see it from where you are, Oroville. Unfortunately. Yeah, all right. So they have their six-month dentist checkup. Today they go every six months to the dentist. Oh, I cannot wait to get out of this sun. Come on. This car. 
car in front of me. Come on, car in front of me. Come on now. Go, 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 go. We're going to go together. They go to the dentist every six months for the little six month checkup. They haven't had any cavities. After, oh, we're running late. Oracle gave me, gave me such a hard time this morning. Their dentist is all the way across town. Thirty minutes away, so we have twenty minutes to do a thirty-minute drive. Their appointment is at nine o'clock. It's eight forty. I had to put his clothes on twice today. He's running around, running from me, and screaming and yelling and acting all wild this morning. Probably because he's not used to waking up and not getting on the bus or getting his phone. That's the only way he'll sit still. And he has had that phone longer than some adults have their phones. And that phone is still going. I can't wait till something happens to it. My husband's supposed to buy them tablets. Something that they can learn on because all he does is watch YouTube and scary YouTube videos and gamers. That's what he watches. <coughs> now I got the boot zipped up. We're gonna try to just redirect him some something different. No, we did not just put a phone in his hand and teach him how to use it. What baby Orville would do is every time my husband would put his phone down, he would grab the phone and put the password in. Like, he knew how to unlock the phone. Because his daddy showed him how to do it. And when my husband will change the password, if Oroville seen what the password was, Oroville will remember it and then unlock the phone. And then he'll go and install games and uninstall games and install games and uninstall games. He would charge stuff to my husband's account. My husband had his phone, his bank card original account, $60, $120 on apps. Oroville would download, install it, uninstall. He, they will have a tug of war over this phone. So what happened is my husband ended up getting him a, a new phone because my husband likes to upgrade his phones like every six months to a year. He spends too much money on phones. Only time I get a new phone is if something happens to it. Something has to happen to it. It has to glitch or fall in the water or the screen has to be broken or something for me to get a new phone. When we first started dating, every time he got a new phone, I got a new phone. And then one day I said, look, all I need to make, if my, all I need to make sure is my, I can text out and receive text and call. I don't need all that extra stuff. I just didn't because when he first met me, he looked at my phone. I don't know how long I've had that phone. He looked at that phone. He, our first date, he bought me a new phone because he was like, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. He bought me a new phone on our first date because that's just how old my phone was. I was like, look, it works. It works. And I wasn't into gadgets and all these other things. And I'm still not into gadgets and all these other things. That's why every time I get a new gadget, the first thing I do is show to have somebody show me how to operate it. <laughs> People are into gadgets like to play with it and see what it does. It's so cool and neat. They do all these different things to the gadgets. Me, I don't care how many functions you have. I'm just going to do the basic. Like my Canon, it has a lot of functions on there that I may never use because I'm just going to do the basic. Unless I just really get into editing and graphics and all that stuff, which I probably won't because most of the people who are into those are into gadgets. And they want to see what they can do and what they can make them do and tweak things and overlay things and lap things and loop things. And I'm just not into all those things. 
this camera, this phone has a good camera on it. When I edit videos, I myself cannot tell when I'm using my phone or when I'm using the Canon. I can. This is easier. I don't have to worry about it being blurry. Can I have to worry about it being? It's a professional camera. All, all the professional people should use this. This is very easy. I don't. I don't know if. I'm doing something wrong with the Canon or whatever. I did do, do, do a drop a haul video yesterday, and it, it looked like it was okay to me when I set it up, but then when I went to edit the video, it was blurry. And I was just like, okay. So I just have to get used to that Canon and just play with it a little bit more. And that's what we're going to be doing until we get better at it. I haven't even used the long lens yet because I haven't really been able to really sit down and chit chat like I want to. I'm so happy it's not that much traffic out here. Sunday. Me trying to do a clean with me, it'll be they'll be basic clean with me's. When I do clean with me's, I want it to be big. Cause I've watched clean with me's. I watched motivation clean with me's. I watch speed cleaning. I like watch chit chat cleaning with me videos. I watch clean with me videos where there are the voiceovers on them. And there was one lady, one lady, and oh my goodness, I didn't subscribe to her channel and I can't find her and I don't even know why the algorithms did not put her on my because most of the time you, if you click on somebody's video and watch it and YouTube sees that you watch the whole video from beginning to the end they will start putting their other videos and you can click on it you can find the, find the person so I was watching this clean with me video and she actually, mo and she had like a great clean with me video. She actually motivated me to get up and clean and to trust and believe that's exactly what I did. I was like, oh, I feel like cleaning my house. Before her video was over, my kitchen was clean and her video was over. And then I think I had to do something. It was something I had to do that day. Ooh, the hell? Are they sleep? It was something I had to do that day. And I think what happened is, oh, traffic. This is traffic to go. I think what happened is, ooh, I'm jumping the line. I'm jumping the line. I 
ended up going to my regular YouTubers that I subscribe to, that I watch every time they upload, and I will binge watch them. Probably had to cook for the kids, probably had to clean, probably had to do something. I got really busy, and so when I, as a mother, when you digress, whew, and you sit down and you just want to take your mind off of what you have to do the next day, or what you haven't did today, or your checklist, or things that you haven't completed, you just relax, and then what I do is, I usually watch something on TV, which is very rare now, or YouTube, which is very convenient, because my phone is right there, and I can just watch. For some reason, it's just more comfortable for me for me to do this than me to do this, you know, on the TV with the remote control. Now, we run into traffic, I spoke too soon. And when I went back to try to find that lady, I didn't find her. I couldn't find her. So when I decided that, when I decided to make my YouTube channel, I said that I am going to do a clean with me video. I did not know that I will get more views on my clean with me video than I did any of the other videos. I just didn't know. All I know is I like to clean. I don't mind cleaning. My grandmother, Oh my goodness, never had a dirty house. Cleaned every inch of the house. I was spoiled, she cleaned my room. I come home, I leave, I get up in the morning, room messy, come home, room clean. I was in elementary school, so, but I could have cleaned my own room. My grandma didn't make me clean my room. She would clean my room for me. My grandma would brush my teeth for me if I let her. <laughs> She's just a clean, clean person. So I was brought up I was brought up in this house with this grandmommy. I didn't live with my grandma that long. But she left an impression on me. She always had a clean house. Until, you know, she got older and she couldn't move around a lot. She had arthritis in her knees. You know, things happened. She couldn't clean as much. But even though grandma couldn't move around a lot, her room stayed clean. <laughs> and then I had cousins. They were teenagers. They were messy. But my grandma's room stayed clean. I mean, stay clean. I remember when my husband, we had went to go visit my grandmother and my husband came to the house and my grandmother, old, just old, arthritis and knees, can't hardly move around. My girls are washing her sheets and blankets. And my husband had a problem with that. And I said, well, Orva, that's what she likes to do. I mean, we can't take everything from her. That's how she lives. That's what, how she, that's what she likes to do. She enjoys to clean. You know, you have to just let her do that. It's not like she, she don't have th four adults, four or five at the time, living in this house that can do that for her, and nobody minds doing it for her. But that's what she likes to do. She likes to clean up. I did help her make her bed a few times because that was a little challenging for her. So I would, you know, every now and then when I go over there, she's always washing her sheets and blankets. I think my grandma probably washed her sheets and blankets every other day probably every day because I swear it's only like one time I went over that she was in washing the sheets and blankets and she probably wasn't washing the sheets and blankets because she had already probably washed the sheets and blankets and I didn't visit my grandmother a lot I don't want you to make you think that I was over there every day but when I was over there that's what she would be doing and I was like that's what she likes to do when older people like to do things you have to allow them to do it even though it looks like she's struggling but that's that's what she liked to do and so she did that. She wasn't able to cook as like she liked to cook anymore. She wasn't able to clean like she liked to clean anymore. Let her wash her sheets and blankets. Let her vacuum her floor. You know, because she was in a wheelchair at the time. He had a problem with it, but that's what she wanted to do. That's what she liked to do. Like that. And so that's what my auntie let her do. My auntie let her do whatever she wants. I remember my auntie would let her buy all of a lay. And I said, well, auntie, why are you letting grandma spend 50, 60, 70 dollars on all of a lay? And looking back at it now, I understand it now. But back then, I was like, that's just because I'm just frugal. Like, I'm like, why you just, <laughs> she don't need to be spending her money on that. But I was like, well, that's what she likes. I let her buy what she likes, you know. Now, I get it. I get it now. You know, so you just have to let them do what they like to do. But that's where my cleaning came from. That's where my cleaning came from. My grandmother kept a clean house. I don't keep a clean house. I wish I did. 
my house will get messy and cluttered like no one's business. Now, if I didn't work, now when I did not work and I stayed at home strictly and didn't have a job, now I'm still, I'm still a stay-at-home mom, but I do work at home. I work 40 plus hours a week. And that 30 plus hours might be like 42. <laughs> Don't make it rain. I used to work like 60, 70 hours a week when I was trying to buy the house. So I was working my butt off. That's when I was pregnant with a 90. And then a little bit after, uh, when I went back to work, I did work a little bit uh, overtime as well. Then I had split shifts. So it was very easy for me to work for four hours, be off for two hours, then work for two hours, and be off for two hours, and work for another four hours. That was very easy for me. So it was easy for me to. It was easy for me to to work overtime, so I didn't used to do that. And then she would nurse, and thank God she was a quiet baby because I'll I'll be nursing her, taking calls, and she was just she'll nurse and go to sleep. And I'll burp her, put her down. That's what I used to do, you know. I mean, that's the truth about my life. Because they didn't say the babies couldn't be in the room. They just said it had to be quiet, and she was quiet. And she's still quiet to this day. She's very good. She's been, she's been raised up where she knows that mommy works, even though sometimes she doesn't like it. But when I did stay at home completely, that's what, I would, that's what I would do. I would clean. You have nothing else to do but cook and clean. You understand how mom, that's all you have to do is cook and clean. And after cooking and cleaning is done, and the babies are asleep, you find something else to do. Read, read books. I used to read a lot. Journal. I used to journal. Watch TV. In order to be a successful clean at home, stay at home mom with a clean house, you have to be put on a baby schedule. And for some moms, it's easier than others. Some moms try to get babies on their schedule. No, don't. If you're a stay-at-home mom. The baby doesn't have to be in your schedule. Just go by the baby schedule, and your life will be much happier. It will. You can adjust to a baby schedule before a baby can adjust to your schedule. Anyway, enough chit chat. I've been chit chatting for 23 minutes. I'm gonna pause this, and we will see you. Well, I think I'm just gonna stop it. Should I stop it or pause it? I'm gonna stop the video, and then we'll see you when we're at the dentist's office.
Okay, we're finished with the dentist. Do you all have fun at the dentist? I'm hungry. Kids can't eat for another 30 minutes. I was going to take Oreo to school after the dentist appointment, but just like <laughs> I got, what is this? It's going to happen in threes, just like I had problems with my printer at home. They had a problem with the printer in the dentist's office. So we didn't get out of it. It's 1130. We got here at 910. We were 10 minutes late. And we're leaving at 1130. And so by the time we get back to our side of town, it'll be 12 o'clock. So there's no point in taking him to school for two not even for two hours, for like an hour and a few minutes. Because he gets, he boards, I think he, his his class lets out at one, I'm going to say 150, 145, 150. So there's no point in taking him to school. I did get a call from my mother while he was recording, so I didn't get to chance to get all the footage that I wanted to get, but that's fine. And there's a box there for the older children from their father. So I'm going to go there and get that. Visit my mom for a while. And then after I visit her, for a little bit, we'll be, I'll be in the babies. So we'll go get something to eat. So we'll see you when I get to my mom's house. Yeah. No. I don't want a dog. 
He said dogs belong outside. Oh. <laughs> Orville said dogs belong outside. But if I was going to get a dog, it would be inside because it would be a guard dog. Guard, dogs can't guard the house outside. No, he's coming from. I'm a Jamaican, and we don't put animals in our house. Yeah. We cook them in special dishes. They do not eat dog in Jamaica. <laughs> You look more, you don't look as girly, but they're cute on you. You look like sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other ones, you think the other ones are more girly with the way they I like the other ones on you better. Well, those look, those look more natural. Right. The other ones look more, they look like it, look like yours, look like you, but, you know. I just, I just slay whatever I do, but I'll go back to the other yeah, I slay hit my knee on this table. Nani, <laughs> Patsico. <sighs> it looks like it goes lower and not. I have not even moved it. <gasps> Look at that, people. This thing bends. <laughs> children. I mean, I have an excuse for the school. He's okay. It's not like we just playing hooky from school to play hooky from school. So he'll go to school tomorrow. So wasted uniform. He could have worn regular clothes today. Alright, so we're heading to, we're heading to the, we're t heading, I don't know, I haven't thought, I don't, I don't know, do I want to go to the restaurant and sit down and eat, or do I want to go home and cook? 
which I don't mind going home and cook. It's just that I'm always home. I'm always in the house, I feel like. Even though I know a lot of times when you all see me, I'm out and about. But when I'm out and about, it's not. It's different from when you have an eight-hour job and you leave and you go somewhere for eight hours and work. And then after that, you know, you, you might have 30 minutes to an hour to drive to work and 30 minutes to an hour to drive home. So you're gone from the house from eight to ten hours. I don't. I'm never gone from the home for eight to ten hours. The longest I'm gone from the home is probably. Let me see. Eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Probably four to five hours, and that's every now and then. Grocery shopping, I'll spend two hours in a grocery store. And I have food at the house. But I don't want to go home right away. So we'll probably go to the Mexican restaurant. There's a Mexican restaurant up here that I love to death. But my whole family loves introduce them to there. I've been going to that Mexican restaurant for DL is 16. I've been going to that Mexican restaurant since DL was one year old. So I've been going to that Mexican restaurant for 15 years. It's so good. So that's where we're gonna go today. Play. Stop, Nani. Stop, Nani. Come on, this way. Is one of my doors not closed? This way. We gotta go wash our hands. We pet the doggy. Yes. Want some more? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nani rarely, rarely touches her salsa. <laughs> the food should be here in a moment. Yeah. 
careful, you're dropping yourself. Here, wipe, your, wipe yourself off. Take your time and chew your food. It's salty. It's not sugar, it's salt. Don't put that on your straw. So you get all this for $10. This is a lot of food. What are you looking at, Orville? That's what you want? Yeah. That one? I want my mm. You both want this one? Yeah. <laughs> and many people. Mommy, and many people. Many paper? Many people. Many people. So no. I'm not even going to eat this. Or a bill will Yeah, me too. Yeah, no. Yeah, Daddy. Yeah, Or a bill, stop. Actually, baby, or can have all this rice. There's some beans on there. See, there's some beans. Yeah, You got a taco right there. Come on, what? Yay, taco, That's a lot of, there's some sheriffs over there.
This is what the babies are eating. I'll be there year in. He has a taco, she has a half a burrito, and they both have rice and beans.